What's up, you Battlefield fangirls? And today we've got some brand spanking new leaks and speculation from a fine fella over on Twitter named Tom Henderson. So buckle the f up. Let's get into it. All right. So first things first. Tom says this year's Battlefield title will simply be called Battlefield. Per sources, he can confirm that the next Battlefield installment will simply be called Battlefield and takes place around 10 years from now. The title is set in a modern slash very near future, which gives the developers a chance to be able to implement the weapons and vehicles that are currently in military development today. So our first takeaway, Dice, you have a mole. Bloody mole! Bloody mole! We're not supposed to talk about the bloody mole, but there's a- Just kidding. I digress. The setting is very similar to how the Call of Duty franchise released Black Ops 2 in 2012, with the game being set in 2025, so 10 to 15 years from its release date. Expect military robots, drones, jets, helicopters, tanks, and that sort of thing. The game is not a hub for all Battlefield titles, as the recent viral Reddit leak claims. Once again, this is all just leak and speculation, so take this with a pinch of salt. A very, very large pinch of salt. This guy says he has insiders and sources, so we'll see. Next, he says, the game will feature a revolutionary campaign compared to other previous installments. The campaign will focus on you and your specialist unit, where you'll be able to choose which superpower you fight for in Battlefield. There isn't necessarily access and allies as you will be able to choose your own path. Both the USA and Russia, who are the game's only standing superpowers, will offer to recruit your specialist team and their skills throughout the campaign, which will be a valuable asset to both sides. It would also appear like this year's campaign is co-op, so all of you and your loser-ass friends like mine will be able to experience this so-called revolutionary campaign together. Moving on, he says, he can also confirm, we'll see, that it would appear that the reveal trailer for Battlefield will not feature any gameplay or multiplayer and will be somewhat similar to the beginning of the Battlefield 5 release reveal trailer, sorry, which is something I'm sure we'll all be a little upset about. A little lol. Battlefield 5's reveal trailer sucked ass, as we all know. So far, Battlefield 6 is off to a great start, sounds like. Moving on, he says, multiplayer, which is what everybody's wanting to know about, will feature bigger and better battles and described as Battlefield 3 and 4 on steroids with a battle royale, yay. Also on the way at some stage, the battle royale experience will be completely disconnected from the Firestorm name and instead will adopt a new name. Players will still be able to play as the four different types of soldiers, but instead of just having unique gadgets, players will also have different abilities, which are similar to Call of Duty perks. For example, a scout soldier might have silent footsteps, whereas an assault, sir, assault soldier wow, might be able to sprint for a longer duration. He finishes off by saying, for the moment, that is all on Battlefield. I'm looking forward to seeing the trailer around May. So, my takeaway from this is, simplistic name, not a bad thing. Uh, campaign, sure. Co-op makes it a little bit more enticing for me to actually go into and play. Not a big campaign guy. Multiplayer, sounds like it's going to be juicy. There's a bunch of other leaks and crap on that, so we'll make some more vidges on that. Uh, you still get your four different types of soldiers. Instead of gadgets, we'll have abilities similar to Call of Duty perks. Why? Why can't we just stick with going back to the original format of Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4? Why do we have to have Call of Duty type perks? This is Battlefield, not Call of Duty. Like he says, that's all he has for right now. He did put out some more stuff on Twitter just to clarify some stuff. He goes on down in a tweet earlier this morning and says, In Battlefield, explosions are not the only thing that can damage and topple buildings. Mother Nature can do a whole lot more. Sounds like weather and map changes are coming in. And then he goes in to clarify over the whole US versus Russia thing. You are not playing as USA or Russia. You are playing as a specialist unit that comprises of the fallen nations, so other nations that are not America or Russia but your unit is hired by both of those superpowers. So that's all we've got to go on for now. As we get more info 
leaks, speculation, and all of that types of good shit. I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date on that. But sounds like it's getting a little closer to that time for some news. So we'll have to sit back and see. But as for right now, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was informative for you. Like I said, take it with a pinch of salt, leaks, and speculation. You know how that rumor mill churn. Like the video, dislike the video, sub, let me know in the comments, and I feel obligated to tell you to turn your bell notifications on because I guess I see big name YouTubers doing that shit and just makes a difference. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace.